If you stepped outside today, you probably noticed spring is a bit late. By some estimates, we are at least two weeks behind where we should normally be at this time of year. That means flowers and blossoms are still waiting to bloom, and the creatures who pollinate them are still in winter mode. Beekeepers say while it's been a cold winter and they're looking forward to spring's population boom, it's nothing like the disaster they faced last year. A News Mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has the story. I pull a frame out of it, brood, so you get a, a, an idea of how it looks. Theo Frederick has been in the bee business for 63 years and knows that this spring has been a long time coming. I would say we're a couple, of, two weeks, two and a half weeks late, if not three weeks late. There's been some winter die-off, but no more than usual. So this is precisely what we want to see now, that they multiply because the bees have been at their lowest. It was last year's colony collapse that scared even this veteran apiarist. In 2009 to 2010, 95% of honeybees on Vancouver Island disappeared for no apparent reason. They're here one day and then they're gone. They do, the, the phenomenon is they leave the hive and why? We have no, no reason why are they leaving the hive, where do they go? Theories abound, climate change, mites, overuse of pesticides, the good news is that after supplementing with New Zealand bees, it looks like numbers are bouncing back. But the late spring is still a bit of concern. Healthy, although weaker than normally this time of the year. With the, the cold spell, they couldn't hatch. Bees play a crucial role, not just making honey. They pollinate. Fruit and berry growers depend on them. Even gardeners need them in their yards. One third of our food chain depends on pollination. Now it's not done entirely by the bees, there's other pollination, but the bees play a very big role in it. Speaking of pollination, if you're interested in getting something to pollinate your garden and you don't want to bother with the honey or the bee stings, you might be interested in mason bees. Mason bees are becoming increasingly popular for gardeners in the know. Rose McCulley breeds and sells mason bee cocoons and houses. They are the, the perfect pollinator. They pollinate better than bumblebees or honeybees. McCulley says last year's bee colony collapse spurred interest in these super pollinators. She says they're perfect for home gardeners. No honey mess and they barely sting. If you have an average large, I'm going to say apple tree, it takes 362 bumblebees, honeybees to pollinate that tree. It takes 30 mason bees to pollinate that large tree. So just how important is pollination? If there was no pollination of any kind, uh, we would perish within 10 years. As you can see, there's more to bees than honey, but warmer spring weather sure would be sweet. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News.